All right, everyone, in this video, we're going to be discussing the real reason for the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapse. It's been talked about a lot on the news lately. We're going to get down to some business here. I'm going to be using some footage that I found on the internet. I'm going to be using news sources, things that leaders have said, things we know. What do we know about this? bridge collapse. We know that a ship, a cargo ship, has hit a bridge and it collapsed. Now, cargo ships are made to haul cargo. We don't know what's in them, but I'm going to show what very well could be inside these containers. And part of it's right in front of you in the picture there. I can't really zoom in, but I'm going to go over what I think I see and I'm gonna have some proof about what I think is going on here. Definitely have a lot of information to talk about here. <laughs> That's for sure. Let's get into this. So we know that a bridge has collapsed. We know that Biden announced very quickly the government will be rebuilding the bridge. And I actually have a news source here that says Biden will do all it takes to rebuild the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Now, why is that weird? Well, this coming from a guy that did nothing for the residents of East Palestine, Ohio. It took him a year to get there. Uh, did nothing for the people in Hawaii. And yet, in literally one day, he's offering to rebuild the bridge. Hmm. That's weird. Um, it's already just not adding up. We're going to put a lot of this information together. Uh, the ship is leaking. And we have some information on that. Yeah, right here. It was carrying hazardous materials. Hmm. Dozens of hazmat containers. Okay, well... I'm building all this information then I'm going to tie it all together. There's also a massive cleanup. Just today, the cranes have showed up to start taking apart all the metal and the containers and everything else that fell into the water. Now, <laughs> when you put all this together, to me, it spells cover up 100 percent a lot of things that aren't adding up is the fact that uh president biden said that he's going to give 60 million dollars for the bridge where they came up with 60 million dollars who knows this this came after you know this is 21 hours ago is when he said this but if you look at this article it says the new bridge can cost 400 million hmm where does the other three hundred and forty million go? I'm gonna explain where it's gonna go. I know exactly where it's gonna go. So, what is being covered up, you ask? Well, the answer is the transportation and the assembly of the metal gear, of course. <laughs> so some of you may be asking, what is metal gear? What is the metal gear? Well, the Metal Gear is a bipedal walking tank that has the ability to launch nukes off his back. Some of us know this, some of us don't. I believe the military has this weapon. Many different prototypes are in the planning stages. Some are already been built. And I believe that they're going to be assembling it off the coast of Baltimore. There's a few models out there. I've managed to dig deep, for, pull a couple photos off of the internet and there we go see see what I mean got the proof this to me looks like Rex one of the older models right here uh, this down here looks to be like one of the newer models this one I believe is Ray this one's a little bit more advanced I think this one can fly I'm not sure but definitely they got the prototype out there. It could even it could even be being built right now as we speak. And I believe it's going to be assembled 
in this whole cleanup. Um, they're using this ship disaster as the cover up. Definitely, hundred percent, hundred percent. Now, some of you might ask, why go to all the trouble of crashing a boat, taking down a bridge, and assembling the metal gear over water? Why not just build a, a secret base on an island like Shadow Moses? Um, <laughs> you know, well, my answer would be when you get big companies together like the Umbrella Corporation and Arms Tech, and they have a joint venture with DARPA, it just makes sense to build it over water. You know what I mean? So now that we have all the key pieces, the cover story, oil spill, hazardous material, the cleanup, they're in place, we're going to have to monitor this situation closely and look for the signs. Over the next couple of days, if a military ship shows up to guard the port, um, then we know what's up. If they take the missing $340 million and build the big shell for oil cleanup, we definitely know what's up. Now, what is the big shell? The big shell is the building that they're going to be assembling and housing the Metal Gear in. And I have pictures of that. Definitely got some pictures of that. Here we go. Big shell. See, this is all on the internet. You don't have to, like, look very hard. Definitely over some water. And you got the different buildings that you could be putting the metal gear together. And it's all part of the oil cleanup and this hazard material cleanup that's going to be talked about over the next, I heard, four years. Here's another good picture of the big shell over the water. Um... Right here, see what, see what I'm talking about? Over the water? That's what's up. They, they're, they're going to say that, oh, we got this massive oil spill, so we need to build this. If this sucker shows up, we know what's going on inside. I'm trying to get all this information out there so you guys know what to be looking for in the next couple of days. So, what else we got going on? Oh, so we also know that these big cranes are coming to take the steel off the ship, take the steel out of the water. And obviously, you know, it's needed. I, there are, the cranes just showed up today. I have pictures of that, but the reason why I got this picture going on is because this is important. This is really important here because if I were loading military weapons on a boat, I would definitely put the containers in the front of the ship, you know, for physics. So, if you look closely, you can almost see parts of a rail gun right in here. I know I can't zoom in, but that's definitely probably some, like, nuclear material maybe. Maybe some nukes going on right here. And these big cranes are going to be coming in the next couple of days. Got to get rid of this roadway first. You know, got to peel the steel off. But we really got to monitor these containers right here. Because this is where I believe the Metal Gear is being stored. Right in here, in these containers. Because that's the cover-up, you know. Oh, we got some damaged uh, ship containers. No, bull. The Metal Gear's inside there, believe me. It's all part of the cover-up. It's all part of the cover-up, guys. Don't let anyone tell you different. See, I know what's up. I can go and take all this information online and put two and two together. Now, where do we go from here? Well... We definitely know that the Marines have a Metal Gear. And this is proof right here. See this guy over here? That's a great Marines lettering on it. That's that's from someone snapped this photo and found out that Marines own one of the Metal Gears. If I go back to one of the pictures of Metal Gear, <clears throat> I do have some inside information that if we, the people, need to fight against this, we just got to get a hold of about 20 Stinger missiles, maybe more, maybe less. And if you shoot this little antenna part here, that's the weak part of the Metal Gear. We could take it down. So that's the good news. But I might be getting a little bit ahead of myself because a lot of things need to, to fall into place. We need to see the big shell being built. We need to see some military ships guarding the port. You know, there's, um, it, again, this is only like day four, but... I'm telling you, the bridge, the ship, it's 
all a co the oil spill. It's all a cover up for what's going to happen. And guys, we have to keep an eye on this really closely. I know for a fact that these cranes are going to be working mostly at night. That's when they're going to be taking all the real important parts off the ship and stuff. And we also got to look out for, let's see, um, what's the word? Uh, kind of, kind of shady characters that are kind of hanging around the dock, maybe going by the name of Snake, um, Solid Snake, Pliskin, uh, anything like that. If there's a guy hanging on the dock that says his name is Solid Snake, we're really in trouble. Really in trouble, guys. I'm telling you. So this is what's up. Had to get the information out of there. I'll definitely be doing more videos on this, keeping you guys up to date on the real information, not you know, not the cover-up story, what's going on. And uh, tune in. Hopefully a lot of people watch this video because this is the real information. This is definitely what is going on. And I will keep you informed, so stay tuned.